In the meantime, back to the big story here. Every single person stuck on I-95 is echoing the same word, help. And early this morning, one man's company answered the call. As he tells our Shelby Brown, accomplishing that task was anything but easy. It was crazy. Frozen gridlock, cars, trucks, and 18-wheelers stranded in the clutches of Mother Nature with no help in sight. Couldn't believe that people were stuck there that long. Hundreds of cars at a standstill for hours, families sleeping in their cars overnight, many running out of gas, praying for help. I ain't seen nothing like that. I've been driving record almost 30 years or so. Capital Garage towing manager Tracy Jarman says at 4.30 Tuesday morning, he got the call from VDOT requesting help. His company dispatched four rollbacks, a large wrecker, and a medium unit to help stranded drivers on I-95. But getting there wasn't easy at all. Because uh, my rollbacks, they got stuck in the traffic at the 98, and they was able to get a state trooper to escort them up to the 104 to get off and cut around the Route 1 to get to them. Virginia State Police with more than 30 troopers and supervisors working through Monday night and into Tuesday said the frozen gridlock on 95 was made even more difficult to clear because of the sheer number of disabled cars and the big rigs that were stuck and needing heavy wreckers. The demand for tow trucks was already high due to other disabled cars on secondary roads across the area. Getting the more than 40 mile stretch cleared is a huge task. One Jarman knows his men are equipped to do. He sent these pictures Tuesday of his workers moving vehicles out of the way. Glad we was able to send people up there to help them and get them home and hopefully they're safe and they get warm. Tow truck drivers that are basically coming from everywhere. What do you want to say to those guys? Appreciate all the help, be safe and make it home to your families. So it has been a monumental task getting all of those vehicles removed from the interstate. State officials believe that road will be back in operation by rush hour on Wednesday.